Kevin Cole with you. It's KEXP Seattle, an affiliate of the University of Washington, and joining me uh, this afternoon down in the performance space all the way from Iceland, uh, Austadir. Welcome to KEXP. Thanks for having us. It's great having you here in Seattle. We've seen you a bunch of times in, uh, in Reykjavik, and uh, uh, it's great having you here. So I wanted to talk about the tour in just, a, in just a little bit, but do you mind playing a couple songs first? Absolutely. Cool. Hosted here live on KEXP. Playing tonight at the Nordic Heritage Museum here in Seattle. Then uh, tomorrow night down in Portland at the Scandinavian Heritage Foundation. This world 
Hosted here live on the afternoon show, KEXP. Don't even want to talk and break the spell and the magic of that uh, song. So beautiful. Um, it's great having you here. What were the songs we just heard? The first song was Leo de Sand. It's a song from our second album. Uh, that means poems in the sand. And this last one is from the new album, uh, the album Quer, which we released in March. So, yeah, Shine. And uh, what's the name of the album? I want to say uh, uh, Vel, but... Uh, <laughs> it has a little K sound in it. Kvel. So it's Kvel, yeah. Kvel. Yeah. yeah. A beautiful record. All your music is beautiful. Um, I read somewhere that you kind of reinvented yourself on the new record. Is, is, that, uh, is that true? Yeah, we kind of had to. We, we had a membership change from uh, six members down to four. Mm-hmm. But we kind of set out to do this album without any extra help. And we had a couple friends join us. Um, but 
we wanted to sort of show that we could keep uh, the, the soul of Austria going, and uh, we we're quite happy with the results. Um, what, what do you consider the soul? It's changing album to album, but I think one thing that doesn't change is there's always a strong vocal, you know, sort of wash of harmony and uh, an emphasis on, on using metaphors from nature to describe sort of intimate events. Yeah, the, the vocals are just so stunning. And uh, how long have you been singing together? And when you first kind of got together, did you recognize right away that there was some magical chemistry with the voices? Absolutely. It's what brought us together. So we started out as a, as a trio and uh, we met in the high school choir and uh, we started singing together and people seemed to like uh, our singing. So mm. we felt we had to s start this band in a way. That totally makes sense. Ragnar, why don't you introduce the band while uh, you're on the mic? All right, so uh, to my left here is Unnur Jonsdottir on cello, Carl Peska on violin, Daniel Önersson on guitar, and Gunnar Mauri Jakobsson on baritone guitar. Again, it's great having you here at KEXP Ostadir live on uh, the afternoon show. And some of the songs you sing are in Icelandic. Some of them are um, in English. How do you make that distinction when you're writing the song? And uh, everybody's looking at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, well, uh, we do it sort of 50-50 split with the English and the Icelandic. And there's no real formula to it. It's just sort of, uh, it's like a song kind of calls for a certain language. Yeah. In a way. And when yeah. you're thinking about the lyrics, are you thinking about them in a language? Yeah, yeah. Is, is that sort uh, of dictate? Also it uh, varies uh, between uh, the members who uh, actually the one who wrote the song and wrote the lyrics. But yeah, uh, I like to sing in Icelandic too a lot, like the sounds of it. But uh, and we were actually a little bit afraid uh, before coming to the States. Uh, that uh, people from the States wouldn't, I don't know, like uh, we were warned that we should sing in English if we were in the States. Happily surprised, people seem to have no problem with the Icelandic language at all, so we'll, we'll just keep on doing Yeah, this. Ragnar, we, we had that conversation back in, uh, in Iceland about, you know, whether you're the, the pressures you were maybe feeling about uh, singing and writing in uh, English versus Icelandic and um, certainly for KEXP listeners, um, they just want to hear the music and however uh, you as artists want to write that and perform it and make it. And uh, there's just some, something so beautiful about the way you sing that um, I think you can feel and get a sense of the emotional quality that you're conveying without necessarily needing to know the lyrics. Yeah, totally agree. I think it's like the performance that really breaks the language barrier. Yes. Um, again, I was to dear live here on KEXP now. I know you have a, a website to help people keep track of your name, right? right. Okay, so no one can spell Austidir. I mean, Ex exactly, right? We could read it out to you. It's A-R-S-T-I-D-I-R. -I -I but if you can't remember that, you can also go to our other website, which is uh, Icelandicbandname.com, and that'll <laughs> just send you to Austidir.com. That's, that's brilliant. Is it, That's your own website? That yeah, takes we, you right? we just got that before the American tour. Very cool. So, um, so the new album was funded via Kickstarter, and you had a very successful campaign, right? Um, Absolutely. Ragnar, you want to take that one? Well, the success that I sort of bring with me after this is that Kickstarter is not only a way of funding stuff, it's also a community, a social community where people hang out and check out uh, interesting things they want to back. So do you, did you feel like you learned more about your uh, your audience, your fans, the community? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We tapped into that community and then we found out via Kickstarter that we had people in the States who liked our music. Um, we were not really sure before, but two-thirds of the backers came from the States. Really? So did that have any sort of uh, bearing on your decision to tour the States? Yes, it did uh, tip the point. And uh, one of our backers even is uh, our uh, North American booking manager now. No way, that's that's super yeah. cool. So it gave us the, the reason to come over here. So. so for your Kickstarter campaign, a lot of people give interesting, weird, unusual things as some of the gifts. Did you guys do that? Yes. <laughs> we, um, one of the things we did that was very popular, it was a stretch goal, um, Ash from the Eyjafjallajökull uh, eruption in 2010. Mm -hmm. My dad's a geologist, a professor in geology, and he, he took us out in the field and dug up the, the good stuff. <laughs> and we gave that to <laughs> the, the backers. The good Ash. Great day, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one of the, uh, the gifts was being the uh, road manager? Well, not entirely. <laughs> but, but, but we had four people come over for visits to Iceland. And yes. they, they stayed at our, our oh, places cool. and we took them to field trips in Icelandic lava tubes. 
Yeah, one of them is even hosting us on this tour. When we're in San Francisco, then we're gonna be staying at one of our backers' place. That's incredible. And also, also on, on the way over here, coming from the East Coast, you met a lot of the backers who've been uh, very hospitable and firing up their barbecue for us and giving us showers and, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so this is like your first real significant major U.S. tour, right? Yeah. yeah. And um, so it's got to be chock full of experiences. And, you know, to make it even more interesting, I know it, you at least started the tour in a school bus that was solar powered. Yes. And... Uh, <laughs> no, no American tu- tour is complete without a, a bus breaking down. Of course, of course, of course. I saw a couple of photos, uh, you know, online, you know, I think um, one of the, uh, I think maybe you, Gunnar, you might have been on the side of the road playing guitar or something. It was Ragnar, actually. Yeah, yeah, oh, was like, it Ragnar? Was it something yeah. like, it was opportunity for someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so tell me about sort of the highs of the uh, the road trip so far. Well, the highs, uh, can t- one that comes to mind is when we were um, driving through the night to get to uh, a place in Kentucky, and um, we were st- standing outside Walmart getting some uh, some food, and our driver, John, he uh, started chatting to some people on the parking lot who invited us to their cabin in the woods. So we, we ended, up, ended up staying the night in a cabin in the woods in the mountains of Kentucky next to a river, a river and we had a bonfire and guitars and wow. s'mores. That sounds incredible. S'mores, <laughs> excellent. Your first s'mores? <laughs> well, and this tour has been uh, my first experience of a lot of things. Um, cool. What about uh, a, a challenging event so far? I have one here. Uh, in the beginning of the tour, we went to... Uh, so the computers here in the States were broken, so they were not issuing any visas, working permits. And we were really scared. to. <laughs> and we just had to cancel the tour. Yeah. But our only chance was to go and get the visas when we went to Canada because then they had fixed the problem. And uh, we were hoping hoping to get, you know, just get the visas the, just the same day. But uh, when we went to the embassy, that was not going to happen. So we ended up uh, missing five gigs in the States. And uh, But we we had a hell of a weekend in Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here safe and sound. Hosted here live on the afternoon show, KXP, playing tonight at the Nordic Heritage Museum. Now, I guess the show starts at like 7, is that right? That's right, 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, How about a couple more songs? And let me try the name of the album again, because it looks really simple. Cavell. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Which means spheres. Yeah. I knew that. It, it has multiple meanings, actually, in Icelandic. Uh, of uh, course. It, it, so, yeah, that's how we like like it. <laughs> but, yeah, Spheres is, is, a, is a beautiful translation. Nice. So, what are we going to hear next? The first song from the new album, and it actually contains the title of the album. It's called Heminkvel, which mm-hmm. means a hemisphere. Nice. All right. <laughs>
Hosted here live on the afternoon show, KEXP, first two songs from the brand new record, right? Yeah. Sounding absolutely fantastic. Playing tonight at the Nordic Heritage Museum, showtime, uh, 7 o'clock. And uh, if you're looking up the band online and you're having trouble finding them, go to IcelandicBandName.com. Exactly. That will take you to our site. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Your site is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. So tonight at Nord, Nord, Nordic Heritage Museum, tomorrow night at the Scandinavian Heritage Foundation in Portland, and then you've been in the States for like a month, and you're down to like the final 10 days or so? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Down the West Coast? <gasps> this is the part we've been looking forward to. Anything you, uh, in particular, you're hoping to uh, do on the West Coast? Someone told me to go to Sutro Baths in San Francisco. But we, we're all looking forward to seeing the sea again. It's been weeks. Oh, yeah, right. exactly. yeah, yeah. I, I bet you kind of jones for it, withdraw. Yeah, Icelanders don't, don't live without the sea in yeah. sight yeah. all the time. Well, you'll have to go down to the sound here when you're done. Oh, yeah. Uh, Seattle and Reykjavik are, are, are sister cities, and I think in part because of the similarities to, uh, to being on the water and uh, in part also the... Uh, the uh, the climate that we absolutely share a similar kind of uh, yeah I, I walked walked down to the, the ocean side uh, a little bit today. today and just like yeah just feeling Felt the smell like again yeah just the smell is the same and this yeah, it was wonderful beautiful yeah well it's so great having you here so again thank you so much for uh, for coming to this to the states and stopping by uh, KEXP our pleasure thank you and uh, we will see you in Reykjavik in November I'm sure when we're there for Iceland Airwaves this year. Definitely. Perfect. Again, it's Elster Deer live on uh, the afternoon show, KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.